So today we're gonna be looking at the zero degrees Kelvin, aka the Ice Monkey Paragon. This thing's gonna be fire. I already know it's gonna be fire, and that's kind of ironic because it's an ice monkey. Anyways, let me just stop. Um, I'm guess I'm gonna use ice monkeys only. Do I have an ice monkey power? No, I don't. I don't have a cash drop either. I'm gonna grab one just so we can get this show on the road. I'm gonna grab like uh, hmm. What if we grab like uh, oh, we'll grab like a 220 ice monkey just so he attacks fast and he does quite a bit of damage. He's a I, I do want him to hit that one. Can he hit that one? Yeah, we're chilling. Uh, and then I want another ice monkey on the bottom. He'll go like 205. Um, yeah. I don't know how long we could do this, but I'm willing to go as far as we can. But before we continue, make sure you hit that sub, hit that like. Any support means a lot to me. And with that being said, we're just going to save up for a banana farm probably. Or maybe I'll put another ice monkey. We'll put like a, a refreeze ice monkey down here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anyways, our ice monkeys, um, I just couldn't wait anymore. I mean, I could have just spammed ice monkeys, but bro, I, I know the whole point of video is about the ice monkey, but man, I, I you know, I, I just can't. I can't do it anymore. I don't want to defend with only ice monkeys, okay? So, yeah, uh, I'm using a goo gunner because a goo gunner is just like an ice monkey if you think about it, you know, like he, he slows them down. That's like the same thing as freezing, you know? So slowing them down is like the same thing. I'm, I'm gonna grab glue splatter in a bit here just so we can get more balloons. Um, boom, glue splatter, okay. But you know, it's just like the same, you know? Like everything happens and I think I'm gonna grab a embrittlement once the time comes. But for now, we're just gonna continue farming. But as I was saying, the glue monkey is just like the ice monkey. And if you really think about it, okay, think about it. Sometimes you do want a glue gunner. Now, the reason you want a Goo Gunner is not because it's good, but because you could keep him around as like a little pet. You know, like when you're feeling down, you could just pat the Goo Gunner like, oh, oh, here you go, buddy. Like, you know, he's he's just a nice, cuddly guy with maybe some toxins in him. And, you know, that's that's what every man needs and woman, every man and woman. Bro, these white balloons, they got camo on them and stuff. Yo, can we tank these? Oh, we could tank these. Okay. Oh, we're chilling. We're chilling. I do want to grab radar scanner though, so our goo gunner can um, pop those white balloons because they are a pain. So I'm gonna grab embrittlement um, in a little bit here. Um, maybe I just grab two embrittlements, man. Maybe, maybe, man. Um, ice shards, and I want to get it into an embrittlement. Yeah, I think that's the move. So boom, two embrittlements. Does that one shot it? Look at that. Boom. OP. That's the Goo Gunner. All Goo Gunner right there. Not the Embrittlement or anything. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I think we're just going to continue here. I'm going to grab some more farms and... Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just going to continue. But also, I've been looking. I've been looking at my schedule for work and I just think like... They're giving me such like a laid back schedule. And I wonder why, you know? Do they think that I'm not capable of doing hard work? Like, what's going on? But I guess it does give me more time to, you know, do me, focus on myself, that type of stuff. But, you know, at the same time, it makes me think, like, why am I not getting so many hours? Like, I barely work. They don't give me that many shifts, right? So I just think, am I the problem? Am I am I the problem? Like, you know, it, it makes me question my whole entire existence. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Comment down below. What is your favorite Ice Monkey path? And for me, it's going to be Icicle Impale. I mean, Super Brutal is cool and all. Absolute Zero is also a pretty interesting one. Um, but for me, Icicle Impale, I like, bro, I've used him so much. And the fact is, is that I really like what he can do. I mean, like, he can slow down Moabs and, you know, he, like anything, bro. Like, and, and you know, he, he's just a cool guy. He's just like... You know, if I want to hang out with someone, I would pick the Icicle Impale over the other two fifth years because I feel like he's just chill. I feel like his name is like, I don't know, like a cool name like Bob. I feel like his name would be Bob. And then um, Super Brittle, he seems like a little bit angry, a little bit angry. So we'll call him like Red, you know, like Red. I feel like Super Brittle's name would be Red. And Absolute Zero, he too chill, bro. He too chill. And, you know, when someone too chill, they can say some crazy things, bro. So, in my opinion, I don't know. We'll call him chill. So, you know, that's just my opinion, bro. But let me know what's your favorite fifth tier, the Ice Monkey. Icicle Impale, you got um, Super Riddle, and then you got 
uh, absolute zero. So, that's it. That's, I mean, that's all I want to say, bro. I mean, we're kind of crushing it. Not really. We're, we're really struggling deep inside, but I don't want to admit it. Uh, I'm gonna grab the balloons over. I feel like that's gonna be a huge upgrade for us, even though he's not an ice. No, technically he is an ice monkey because you know, like he he hurts them, so that makes him an ice monkey in my opinion. So uh, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys soon. I don't know when because uh, we are taking off. So we can afford this paragon already. Um, I guess we'll put him here. I don't know if that's the best spot. Yo, he covers the whole map. I don't know what he does, but I guess we're about to see. Um, zero degrees Kelvin. Only the strong as the balloons are able to resist the cold, icy winds. Um, I don't like the sound of that because that means some balloons are able to get by. Anyways, let me get a cool thumbnail here. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna say one more time. Boom. Wait, just one more time for the vine. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, with that being said, what the heck are you doing? Who is this guy? I, he's just throwing the... Hold on, let's slow it. The icicles are not even touching the balloons. What are the hitboxes of these icicles, bro? What in the... What is he aiming at? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm leaving, bro. What is he doing? He's like a little crazy... Bro, I told you. Red is... Look, he has the design of red. That's how you know he's crazy, bro. He's a lunatic out there. So let's see how he handles a bad here. And he pretty much destroys it. Um... But I don't know how he's going to do against a fortified bat, which is what our elite Moab Crippler struggled with. Um, and if you haven't, make sure you check out that video. That video is pretty fire. I made it. I, I made it. Okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> we're just going to continue here. But I do believe he's going to struggle with fortified bats, which I guess we're just going to have to see. And, um, you know, I, I just been thinking. I know Kelvin is supposed to be like, uh, what was it called? Fahrenheit? Like, um. What was it called? Um, it starts with a C. Um, uh, uh, Celsius. Celsius. I, I know Kelvin is supposed to be like Celsius, but I feel like his name is Kevin. Because he's just so, like, you know, he's just, I don't know. I have a friend named Kevin. That guy's a little bit, he's a little bit crazy, bro. And, you know, I, I don't even know. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Let's see how far this boy can go. So my boy has been shredding these balloons, like, Bro, let's see how he does against a fortified bad though, which is kind of, okay. Yeah, it's we're not gonna make it to round 200. You can just tell by how fast he deals with a fortified bad, and we're not making it to round 200, bro. Look at how long. Look at this boy. He is struggling, my boy. This boy needs some help. Okay, but yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna make it to round 200. But we're gonna make it between round 140 to 200. Probably in the round 160s is where he's gonna fall off. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I guess we're just gonna continue here. And oh my god, I miss Kevin. Ironically, I miss Kevin, bro. I, I think I'm gonna go text him. I'm gonna go text him. I'll be back. Yo, I think he actually fell at the same round as the Elite Mobile Crippler. So that's pretty interesting to think about. Because I think they fell almost at the exact same round. I don't know if I'm right on that. But yeah, pretty interesting tower. Um, Pretty insane tower. Um, Like particle wise or attack wise. Like you would not expect that. Anyways, bro, literally like look at his stance. He looks like a Yeti. Plus look at that icy wind. That, that looks... His design is epic. I love it. I love his design. Anyways, with that being said, we did fall out round with 67, so he did okay. He did all right. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. That's all for me, and peace. Also, make sure you hit that sub and hit that like. All the support means to the world to me. It means the world.